Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal. I just started taking up a hobby of journaling, which it's called like junk journaling, I believe. But if you hear some noise, the dogs are going crazy. But I wanted to show you what I got because I got quite a bit today. And I do have quite a bit already here. And ignore my desk. We're going to do a clean with me tomorrow. Um, but I will show you how I organize it. And I will show you everything that I got. And then let me kind of show you what a like junk journal is so you can use like any type of journal obviously um, anything that you like or want and it's basically just an expression of how you're feeling um, that day and I kind of write in some things um, and just put little things and I kind of color code it or I've been color coding it so this one's like a blue theme <laughs> this one was it's kind of funny because I just kind of did it whatever um and this one is the most recent one but it's kind of it's kind of like scrapbooking mixed with journaling so I do write some things in here and then I also do have like my normal journal but um so yeah, that is what it is. So I'm gonna show you, my dog's crying, but I'm gonna show you everything I got today and how I organize it and how I take it out. I honestly took up this because I am a super creative person. Not only do I love making stickers and doing scrapbooking stuff, I did scrapbooking stuff all in high school, but I kind of wanted to have like a continuation of my journaling which I just recently started. So I also do this journal, which it gives you prompts for morning and afternoon, and it's just writing. So I kind of wanted something with a little bit more expression also. I still do this every day, and I, I, and I just finished making a journal that will be for sale on Amazon, so I'll show it to you once it's available and I have all my samples, but let's get into this. I got all of this stuff online, and yeah, so let's get into it. So we have these, which are little wax seals got some in like purple and some nude I just take these out of their package if I can open it so I just take these out of the package These are 
not sticky, they're just regular papers. Then this is really pretty. And honestly, this stuff is so inexpensive. I got all of this stuff for like $30 and it will last quite a while. And I do also sell a random bundle on my Etsy store of stickers and papers and sticker sheets and things like that. So if you wanted to get like a variety of things to try, I do have that available in my Etsy store. Um, shameless plug, right? <laughs> but these are just some more journaling papers. So pretty. I'm actually going to keep this envelope too. I have quite a bit of journaling stuff already and none of it has come in like pretty packaging like this. I really like it. And this looks like a black and white theme. Okay, here's a couple stickers. based off of what it is. So, and then these are just some papers that I do not think will fit in my journal and stuff. So, we'll keep that there. Here is some like washi tape. Pages. This is a sticker book. It's kind of hard to see the pages, but I will take them out of the book. Just a sticker book. And then these are word and phrase stickers. Then we have some more stickers. Everything, if you can, can you see? Okay, 
is in this box here and I organize based off what it is. So these are the clear looking floral stickers. So I kind of keep them all together in here and here's some more. So we'll just organize together. But these are the floral ones. We'll just put them in here. So here are some more floral leaves I kind of keep in this one. And these are like the matte semi-clear stickers. Oh wow, this one's really pretty. Really pretty. So there's those. And then I'm gonna look. These could almost be in here too. Um, but I'm actually going to put them in another one. So there's that. And then let's see here. And then we have some stickers here that are just similar kind of to these in texture. So we'll just put these in here. papers and things so I actually have more of these now so we'll reorganize those and so instead I take them out of here and just go through and pull them all out and a lot of people say online that this is like a waste of time and a waste of money and I honestly kind of thought that in the very beginning oops I honestly thought that in the very beginning and then I started doing it and seeing like how therapeutic it was and such a like cool creative expression that I no longer thought that so I think that goes to show that you should try stuff before you bash it um or think a certain way of something because it ended up being totally different and I really enjoy it I've shared it with a couple of my friends too and they're gonna give it a try I mean I have some that are already so full of papers that nothing else will fit on in here so we just have to start a new little one We're actually going to put some in here. I want to make sure this fits. It does. So we'll start. Oh, my favorite one again. theme in this box. I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to do a spread with them. They're so pretty. We can even put this in here. It's purple. And then here we have these like clear sticker sheets. I'm going to put the rest of them in here also, just so they're all together.
smaller little pieces. Some are stickers, some are not. And I'm gonna put this, take these out and put them in here because they're, they're little small pieces. white with gold and black with gold makes sense some do not but it's all good i'll use the ones that make sense and then for this this is one of the places that i've been getting some of the stuff chaos craft so I can easily go through and grab whatever I need out of here. I know I have like some of the words, but like some of these are not gonna fit, so I can't put them in there. Um, so what I am going to do though, is now that this is all done, so we're good, this is all organized and ready to go, and then we will the rest of this stuff. So this will go in here with some other different washi tapes. And these tapes I had from when I used to um, do like a planner. I do a digital planner for the most part now, but It's just in here. And then the rest of my scrapbooking stuff will go in a box that looks like this. It's actually really cool. It's really cool. Um, but in here, I have stickers from my Etsy sticker shop that are ready to go. 
for anyone who purchases them. We have quite a bit in here ready to go, but I'll just put this stuff here in the back for now. I do have another one of these, but I don't need to fill up or open up too far right now. So we have that and that is it. So, all right, so I can kind of go through and show you everything that I have now in the way that it's separated. Stickers. Papers and stickers. Stickers. I'm sorry, it's dark out, so it's pretty dark. Tons of little papers. More papers. Smaller and different kind of shaped papers. Random things. Very pretty though. It's gonna be more stickers. These are like religious stickers. Clear sheet stickers. Saying. These are like little sayings. And a bunch of different colors. These are words. <laughs> As well, more word stickers. These are more word stickers as well. More papers. Some purple papers and some purple little wax seals. More stickers. I really want to do a purple spread soon so if you want to see that let me know in the comments below. This one's empty. So just let me know in the comments below and I can do one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!